My name is Shegun Alabi. I'm the CEO of Dividola Nigeria Limited, founder of Dividola Farms. I am a farmer and I'm proud to be a farmer. No, maybe they have used it before. We have okay. planted. Uh, Dividola is a real estate farm developer and farm management organization. We specialize in pineapple farming and distribution of all kinds of fresh fruits. David Olar Farms was formed in 2016. That is five years ago. 16th December 2016, to be precise. I believe I am called to do farming because food, come rain, come shine, food will never go uh, away. People will always eat. So I believe that I was called to solve the uh, issue of food in the world, not only even in Nigeria. Our major challenge when we started then, in fact, I can, I can remember 2018. That year was a year that I can never forget. Why? Because then we had cassava, I think about 50 acres of cassava, no, 80 acres of cassava. And when we were planting the cassava then, the price of cassava was 100,000 naira. And by the time the cassava was ready for harvest, the price dropped from 100,000 to 10,000 naira. To the extent that there was no buyer that want to buy what you, what, what you have. So it was a serious year for us. And then at the end, we lost the whole cassava. We also had maize then, corn. Cow eat the whole corn. We had about, about 25 or 30 acres of corn. Cow ate everything. We also had watermelon in that same year. Rain stopped because there was no insurance. Rain stopped and the whole farm was destroyed. So we lost huge amounts of money. I mean millions of naira. But today, I, could, I, can, I can say thank God because we are not where we were. Today we specialize in pineapple. And that is what we do. So all those experience of those years actually teach us something to know what to do and what not to do. So I thank God for the experience. Then we, we are only doing trial and error. Then we don't have uh, a contract with any off takers. When we meet, I could remember we, we met uh, some some company that use cassava and they promised oh once your cassava is ready bring it we bring we are going to buy it but when it was ready they were not ready to buy because the price has dropped so the experience then was a woeful experience that is what it was then but today we have off takers who off take what we produce and uh, Pineapple is scarce in Nigeria. And that's one of the reasons we specialize in pineapple. So the experience today, what the villa is now, is way, way better than how it was. In the next five years, I want to see David Dola to become the household name. I want to see David Dola exporting pineapple to Europe, to America, to all the continent that could not produce pineapple. I want to bring Nigeria to the number one country that is exporting pineapple in the world. And also to increase people's income and give them value for their money. My advice to any young entrepreneur who wants to go into farming or any other business 
I want to tell you that be knowledgeable about what you want to do. Knowledge is income. And when you are knowledgeable about what you are doing or what you are about to do, people are ready to work with you. I can tell you that nobody is ready to part with their money with someone that is not knowledgeable about what he or she is doing. And also, you have to keep integrity. Integrity is a currency. And when you lose or you lost your integrity, you are losing money. So no matter what you are doing, whether farming or any other thing, make sure that you are knowledgeable about it and keep your integrity. I can but say thank you to all our investors. It is you that make us to be where we are today. So without you, we won't be where we are today. It is your money that put us where we are today. Without your money, we won't be where we are today. So I want to say a very big thank you for believing in us. Even when the, when the journey was not too fantastic, but you still believe that, oh, I can work with this company. I want to say a big thank you, a big thank you to you. I want to say Merry Christmas and I want to say Happy New Year in advance. And I'm promising you now that we have more for you in 2022, 2023, 2024, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years to come. Because we are setting up a business that you can also hand over to your children and children and children. I want to say a big thank you for believing in us. Thank you.